I spend my life surrounded by next generation ministries. I am passionate about fathering and mentoring. Uh, you know, there's a huge difference between a leader and a spiritual father. A leader will gather people around him who will get him to where he wants to go. A spiritual father will birth sons and daughters who will go further than he's gone. And the hope for the next generation is that they'll go further than, than my generation has gone. Because if they don't, we're in trouble. If they don't actually go further. How is that going to happen? I believe it's going to happen when they honour the journey of their heritage. The history of the church too often is a new generation emerges and it, it destroys the work of the generation before. It criticises and isolates itself from it and it's going to be a new day, it's a new start, it's a new way of doing things. But what I see in the Bible is a generational vision. It's the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. There's, there's a generational blessing when there is a generational honouring. And I believe that the key for the next generation is to have hearts that return to fathers and fathers' hearts that are turned towards their sons, where there is a real sense of saying, I want to learn from my father's generation. I want to take the promises into my future and then create promises for someone else's future. This is my hope for the next generation, and I believe that God is raising up an amazing generation of young men and women who, perhaps not blighted with the things that my generation were blighted with, um, they no longer see denominational divides. Um, they just see the church. They no longer see uh, status in ministry as being significant or important. They simply want to do the purposes of God in their lifetime. And I'm a man of hope. I'm full of hope for the future generations.